Well, when you're fighting this guy, DC, you know as well as anyone, it makes for a suffocating night at the office. Here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov, putting his status as one of the best fighters on the planet on the line yet again tonight. He does it every time he steps foot in the octagon. When they say it's suffocating, they talk about the strength of Habib. Even our teammates say it does not feel like you're going with a lightweight. You right. feel like you're fighting a light heavyweight. And what do you expect from a guy that spent his childhood wrestling with bears? <laughs> he is so strong. He's so physical in the hard work and the intensity of which he trains with only shows when he steps foot in the octagon. One of the most skilled guys the UFC has ever seen. We always talk about the wrestling and the grappling and the sambo, right. but don't sleep on Habib Nurmagomedov's strike. And we saw shades of that in the McGregor fight. Javier Mendez says at times he likes to go south pine training. He can't hold you down. Ah, he can't hold me down, but Just it's okay. It sure. It's okay. You can't win them all, Habib. <laughs> respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes there is nothing in pro sports quite like a ufc heavyweight championship fight that is a reality you've been there you've done that baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight yeah the champ walks again and he wears that proudly johnny wants to be called the champ he loves to be called the baddest man on the planet he is so skilled he's so dangerous he's so scary and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Largely, the tension is palpable. Both fighters have graced the octagon, ready to go here at the famed Honda Center in the Big A Anaheim, California. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov. And now he's the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Enforcer. The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee fight. for this one. Ready. Good. He is undefeated. He is one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. And what a pain in the neck he is to fight. Habib Nurmagomedov figures to go to the takedowns early and often here tonight, but if he needs to strike, we have seen a constant evolution when it comes to his striking. This is one of the best fighters in any division, and Khabib Nurmagomedov back at it tonight. Nice side. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. A lot of different looks. He switches to southpaw now. Too easy. Khabib Nurmagomedov gets the early takedown. Opposition knew it was coming. Unable to stop it as usual. Well, he'll tell you. He'll tell you that he's going to take... Oh, could get a finish soon. Looks like a Darce choke. Oh, that Darce choke is tight. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Back to his feet. Nice defense there. Huge block. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Nice combination on the feet, and now works it to a takedown. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nice elbow. Now 
drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or kick, Ron Apollo. Yep, got to be very careful there. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Hey, you get the won't help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of bounds, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of this position. Big grounded pound. Khabib's trying to lock up on a submission now. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. These boys are standing right in front of each other just kind of going at it. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Oh, he starts to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Bubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand a strike with anybody in the UFC. Two minutes to go. Now a kick to the bottom. And there he goes, lands another combination. It's a big double leg, double change. Side control now, DC. You know he's in. Yeah, he's going to try to attack Kimura here. He'll try to get him up on his right hip so he can get pressure. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He was able to withstand the fire, and now he finds himself out and safe. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Good ground and pound here. Fighter able to reverse position on the ground and gain a dominant position. Nicely done. Under a minute to go. Postures up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Beautiful ground strikes landing. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Trying to get the triangle here. Let's see if he can close the show. Oh, he might have that submission locked in. It's worse. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nermago Meta. Ah, stop, stop, stop. You lost that last round. He's all over you with the submission attempts. Great job with your defense, but we got to do better. I want you to put him on the defensive. That means we have All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. Ready. Ready. All right, second round underway. All right, next round is underway, and man, is that guy hard to submit. It looked like it was close, but close doesn't look like Almost doesn't count. And for as close as he was, he didn't get the job done. And again, that is because he's so good at defending submissions. If you're going to be a wrestler, if you're going to be a guy that engages a lot on the ground, you've got to be able to defend submissions. Nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Ooh, big shot land. All right, so another takedown for the wrestler. He hinted that he wanted to strike 
here tonight, but sticks with the bread and butter, and it's working. The bread is buttered, so why would you not eat it? This guy is doing exactly what we have come to expect from him. He goes forward, he level changes, and he takes you down. Once you're on the ground, he grinds you out. Oh, looking for the submission now. Oh, compromising spot here. Trying to choke his locked in. Oh, he got to his spot. Foster's oh, up now and lands oh, a God. devastating strike to the head. Another ground and pound strike lands. Ground and pound strike there now. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you and I love a good grappling match, but these fighters came to see knockouts. Yeah, the, the fans came to see them knock each other out, and that's what they're going to get. All the grappling is beautiful to watch, Sean. But ultimately, it is the striking that people show up for. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. There's his jab. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Need lands to the body by the taller fighter. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. There's that head kick. Throwing these punches and combinations really dictate the pace for the opponent. Two minutes. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's going to lock him down. He's trying to pass him. Oh, man. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything wrong to lock himself to get some. Oh, doing work with the jab. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Nanago Menov's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Ooh, pretty good. 15 seconds. All right, they separate. Now we'll see who can get off in space. Khabib's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps they're on the bridge. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. 
All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though where both guys, from the moment they... Nurmagomedov's attempting a triangle here. Let's see if he can finish the deal. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nurmagomedov. This is a terrible position. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. The ground strike's starting to pile up. Posture's up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. Another submission attempt here, and this is a good one. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back to their feet. And no surprise, the crowd responds in touch. The crowd just loves whenever they get two high-level strikers going at it. It was very hard to get back up after getting taken down. But he's got there now. Let's see if he can take advantage of it. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the if you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect. <laughs> Timely defense there. Huge block for him. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed. He continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. But when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Nirmago Medoff's going for that arm triangle. Let's see if he has it. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? Off. That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get a submission victory. That one certainly found the target. Submission locked in now. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Yes, smart adjustment. Yep. Oh, that right eye's looking really swollen now. Now inside the close guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Oh, lands with the ground and pounce strike. Very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. Nurmago Medov, ground and pound from half guard now. Let's see if he can do some damage. Oh, nice takedown defense. Staying busy in the clinch, lands a nice punch there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Knocked down 
just before the horn, saved by the bell. So now back to the stool. He has only 60 seconds to recover. We'll see if physically he can keep himself in this fight. You fell back to your training. Kept your hands up to stay defensive. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you've got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normal. It's a 15-minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Oh, it's getting very, very deep. Oh, gives up on the submission now, so preferring to maybe get to a dominant position instead. Nice transition. Print the shirts, ground and pound. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Good body position, yo. Oh, big elbow. Right back. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just gotta move. All right, so the fighter setting up another sub attempt here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, oh big elbow. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. All right, so the cut really starting to open up wider now, and you got to credit this striker for, for continuing to attack that area. Just knowing the target, knowing what he's supposed to do, and doing it as effectively as he is right now. This guy's tremendous. Set up another submission. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Strong reversal there. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Oh, pinpoint strike lands there, and not gonna help the swelling like this. I love this accuracy, this ability to get his shots to the target right away, and you see it in the swelling that is forming on his opponent's face. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Well, his superior grappling has certainly been oh, in good position to rip off a Kimura here. Oh, that looks wicked tight. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on him. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Ninety seconds to go. Fight back! All right, well, he's got him softened up here. And there it is again, targeting that swelling. Why would you not, right? You throw down all this damage. Might as, go, might as well go right back to it. Well, especially if your opponent is not going to move his head. He's still trying to go out on his shield. He's, he's so stubborn in trying to prove that he's tough. It's really costing him right now. Another submission now. Oh, that looks tight. Oh, how good is this 
submission defense. Like he is out of danger again. He recognized the danger, got himself out of it, and now he fights on. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Oh, great reversal to top position by Nermago Meta. Now he's going full mount. Oh, man, he's still targeting that cut, and it is getting worse by the minute. Trying to finish this fight. Herb Dean steps in. Holy smokes. What a fight. Well, make no mistake about it, he is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It, it was amazing, John. It was amazing. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 42 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle Nirmago Meta. All right, so Habib Nurmagomedov, your winner by TKO. He excelled on the feet. Ground strikes were there as well, and he gets the finish that he really called for in our fighter meeting a couple days ago. He thought that he could dominate this fight. He thought that he had more skills and more ways to finish the fight, 